So Notion's new layout builder is probably my favorite feature of the year. If you have databases with many properties, I think you'll agree with me. You can now move those properties into a hidden side panel that's easily accessible. Plus, there's plenty of ways to customize it to fit your needs. And in this video, I'll show you five effective ways to transform your database from chaos to clarity. So this feature is available in any workspace and specifically applies to database views. You can enhance your existing databases, significantly improving your overall experience. When you make changes, they apply to every page in that database. For example, if you have a content database, a single configuration automatically cleans up every page. A quick way to access layouts is to hover near the title and the customize layout button will pop up. When you click on the customize layout button, you will see the layout reorganized into three columns. The left column has the current view of the database. The second column, the middle one, is the way you want the layout to look. And the right column gives you a few page setting options for the way you want to inline comments, discussions, and property icons to show. To hide properties from the main page and display them in the side panel, simply drag the property group to the middle where it says Add to Panel. This will instantly clean up the page's appearance. At the top, you will notice a button that says Apply to All Pages. It has a down arrow. And if you click on that, you'll see an option to reset it to the original page layout. However, there are no other options available. To save, just click on the apply to all pages. And once you save, you will notice that all the properties have vanished, but you can still access it by viewing the details option that just show below the main title. Once you've clicked on it, you will find a side panel with all the properties displayed. You can go back to the customize layout button to make any changes. Your familiarity with the database structure will help you create an effective layout. So take a few minutes to understand the structure of your existing database first. In this case, the database is a content database to give me ideas for new videos. And in this database, you'll notice automations and properties linked to those automations. So we'll organize these properties within the layout to maximize efficiency and clarity. Broadly, if you group them, you will notice that you'll have some basic data entry fields, some formulae, some properties that give insights. Some of them are automated and some of them are manual. So we could break them up into automated insights and data entry insights. Relations that connect this to another database that aggregate this information by channel, external links, some decision properties, some system properties, and some date related properties, including formulae, some comments or legends for views. While you might not be there 100%, it's a good start to create these groups for the layouts. Let's start creating the sections or groups for these properties and give them dedicated sections. This time we'll access the layout customization by clicking on the three dots and then customize YouTube idea bank. And finally, the customize page layout. Sometimes the add section option isn't immediately visible. In such cases, just click on the property group first and then you'll see the add section option appear. And now let's add in all the sections that we discussed to move properties into their respective sections. Grab them using the six dots on the left side and move them to the relevant section. Now to do this easily, here's a neat little trick. While holding down the left mouse button, use the scroll wheel to move up or down. Release the button to drop the property into the correct section. You can also rearrange the sections, deciding which one appears on the top and in what order they'll follow. One nice feature is that if you search for a property, it's nicely highlighted in bright yellow helping you locate it very easily. Once you're done, you can save it by applying to all pages. Now, when you open the page, you can show or hide the details by clicking here. You can collapse the sections by toggling on them so that you can work on the specific properties without the distraction. You'll notice that it's much easier to access the properties since they are now in groups. What's more, you can create a new property with the desired type directly from the layout builder. One feature that Notion added to layouts is the ability to pin up to four properties just below the main title of the page. Now you can do this by going into the far right panel 
and pinning specific properties. So here let's pin the URL and the video published date as examples. You'll immediately notice that these pinned properties now appear horizontally, saving you space on this main page. You can also rearrange the order of these pinned properties. Clicking on a pinned property, just like the URL, allows you to access it directly. Accessing properties is quite straightforward. You'll find a layout button at the top right of the page. Now click on it and the layout appears as a side panel. Now you can expand or collapse property groups, allowing you to focus on the specific details without the distraction of all the properties all at once. To close it, just click on the layout button once again. And you can also display additional properties on the main page as its own section, right below the pinned properties. To do that, you can either click on the plus sign below the layout builder, or you can right click on the property in the extreme right column and add to the layout. When you apply all pages, you will now see them right on the main page. Now there are some properties that you don't want to see, but you need them. Like let's say the create a date property. I can simply go into the view, right click on the property, choose property visibility and click on always hide. Going back into the customized page layouts and clicking on the center column brings up the page settings that we didn't get to see since the beginning of this video. Inside of this, you can choose to leave your inline comments to default or to a minimal view and the page discussions to expanded or to off. Personally, I like to leave the page discussions to expanded and the inline comments to minimal on my pages. So I'll accept the changes here. When I open the page, I see page discussions are fully visible while inline comments are minimized. Now these comments can be easily expanded with a single click. When you access the templates section, you'll notice that these layouts have been automatically incorporated. If you need to make any additional adjustments, you can easily edit them directly from within the template section. One more thing that you can do now is to optionally hide property icons from your layout builder. To do that, you go into customize layouts, click on the middle column to bring up page settings, or alternatively, you can click on the title to show the page layout. And at the bottom, you will notice the show property icons that you can toggle off. If you want to change the page that you're previewing, you can simply click on this toggle button at the top and you can change the page for preview. In addition to all of these layout changes, Notion has made some remarkable improvements to automations. To learn how to create advanced one-click automation in Notion, watch this video. And for instructions on setting up recurring tasks in your database, check out this video.